And remember that time that he gave me his ex-wife's engagement ring? And then, last summer, that time that he left his molly in my glove compartment and then I got arrested. I escaped from a Thai drug lord's car trunk by bribing him with sex. I went on a blind date to Bali with Leo. Yeah, the actual longest relationship was a um, three-month affair with a Saudi prince, but for the last two months of that, I was trapped in his palace trying to get to an embassy. Do I have to remind you of the time that I was taken hostage on David Geffen's yacht by Somali pirates for a week? I didn't go missing, David. The FBI knew where I was the entire time. Like, have you ever had to negotiate in Arabic? It is very difficult. And try getting into Kiss Kiss in Tokyo without a lock of human hair. I mean, I like it because Jared Leto gave it to you and he was my first kiss. I was a beard for a very well-known actor, and I get it. It's uncomfortable. Okay, I had a friend in Venice Beach who sold raw milk, and his entire compound was raided. I mean, he also sold drugs. It's just a checkpoint, okay? I've been through tons of these in Johannesburg. Um, it's like a drive through except everybody has a gun. David, the factory in Guangzhou assured us that it was lead-free. Like, I once dated this sultan's nephew who was forbidden to talk to me or even to look at me and we made it work for like half a regime change. Hey, were you picked up by the South Korean secret police on New Year's? But I did meet Beyonce and Mikino, so it was almost worth it. It's this long, boring story involving a yacht and a famous soccer player and like a ton of mushrooms. Kirsten also told me at the premiere that she was jealous of my bangs. It reminds me when I was in Bangkok, there was this amazing little resto lounge that specialized in Tahitian food and scalp massages. I wasn't in rehab, I was at rehab visiting Stavros. It's the exact same move that I used with my klepto friends in the Hamptons. I used to text Zach Efron just like a question mark whenever I wanted a booty call. You learn pretty quickly when you're in a Ugandan diamond smuggler's villa playing for your friend's freedom. I basically did exactly the same thing with my friends once, but instead of cookies, it was whatever we could find in our parents' medicine cabinets, and instead of a Christmas party, it was an old boot factory in Krakow. Tell that to me at 21 escaping the Yakuza. Um, I actually got this in a swap with Sienna Miller. And by that, I mean it fell off her wrist at a Halloween party and I kept it. I know I was once paid to talk up Heart Blaster Energy Drink at a Third Eye Blind concert. Yeah, and Adam Levine and I just went for bubble tea. I once passed off a mini horse and three guinea pigs as service animals, so anything is possible. My best friend Summer used to date half in high school, which isn't as weird as it sounds because he was like a very young 77. Every time I did that with a boyfriend, I'd set them off with someone who, like, wasn't a threat. Like Pippa Middleton or Rihanna. This is why you have ground rules, David. Josh Groban has a thick leather-bound binder full of them. I think everyone here has already heard about my Vin Diesel adventure. The producers of A Little Bit Alexis insisted that I take acting classes after we started shooting. So, oh. yeah, um, I was one of the original Pussycat dolls, but it only lasted, like, two weeks because apparently I'm too pretty. <laughs> If this is anything like my first day with the Pussycat Dolls, it'll be a couple of hours of Kegels and then an afternoon of cheeky Bellinis. You took me to the Playboy Mansion when I was seven. Okay, I've just been to Miami so many times before and trust me, the wildlife is not as sexy up close. I once maintained a successful semi-committed text relationship with Josh Hartnett while he was shooting Pearl Harbor. Turkish Cosmo once included my photo on their list of world's best sarongs. I fit my high school best friend into a suitcase way smaller than this when we were crossing the border between Laos and Vietnam, so I'm pretty sure I can figure this out. Diplo still sends me nudes. I once hooked up with three different GQ Men of the Year at the GQ Men of the Year party. I once planned Megan Fox's bachelorette on this tiny island off the coast of Montenegro where nothing is illegal. Like, nothing. Not like when you go to India to follow a long-haired, sexy man around for a couple of months and then come home with a banging yoga bod. You're starting to sound like me trying to end things with B-Rock on the Backstreet Boys Millennium Tour. And move to some random island to be with the love of my life. I did that with Harry Styles in England. It was like too rainy. <laughs> Where were you when I was dating half the cast of White Squall? Trust me, Stavros and I used to make out in his parents' aviary. Thank you, my weekend with Tom Hardy. England is here. You would have no way of knowing this, but usually when someone sends a jet for you, it means he's very interested, trust me. And Tiger Woods. I remember there was like a whole year that we didn't even see each other. I'm just saying, it's, a part of me feels like I'm almost glad that we lost the money.